Right guys, welcome back. And right behind me is a hardtail, and it's a writer's nucleus. It's mostly my little brothers, but you know, it's a, it's a shared bike around the family, and it's done us a solid year, and it's still looking pretty good, but it's got some awful brakes. In fact, it's only the rear, the front, solid, absolutely solid, the rear is shot, so we're gonna fix that today. Right, well, basically all we're gonna do today to fix up these um, awful brakes is New set of brake pads and some, uh, well, some isopropyl alcohol. It's not mold remover, I promise. Right, so let's get started. Right, so what we're going to do first thing is obviously just take off the wrong iron key. Is we're just going to take off these brake pads. Like, like so, and then just, oh, not like that. Simply lift them out without getting obviously one stuck in there. Oh, yes, bargain, absolute bargain. As you can see, rust in the sun. You can see all that rust, that is a lot of corrosion. I actually didn't know it was on there, so, so we're going to rub the whole disc with some isopropyl alcohol. So we also get the disc clean so the disc isn't eroded from the rake pads as well. So right now I've got some good old mold removal isopropyl alcohol and we're going to get going. So it sprays, oh no, that's on lock. Turn it on, spray some on the tissue, and simply just wipe it down all over those brakes. Get those brakes looking good as new. Just wipe down the whole thing. And then move back here on the process, so you can get the hole in. Right, so now we'll get the pads out. Brand new, fresh pair of pads. This is probably one of the easiest bike changes you could do in your life. So, if your pads are not working at all, then this is a really easy change, and it will do so much for braking power, and just and just the whole bike in general. To be honest, there's nothing wrong with changing brake pads. Time to get that little thing back on. So they all line up together. Back on. Wrong thing again. Then we will lightly tighten this down. Perfect. Only a little bit. And hopefully that should do it. Right, as you can see the bikes are here on the ground. Obviously just put the new brake pads in and clean the brakes. I propose, I propose, I can't say the word anyway. Let's just, let's just get on the bike. Right, so, remember, I went up this hill and just slammed the rear brakes and they were squeaking. Let's hear this now. Oh! For an even better test, I'm just gonna ride down this hill, slam the rear brakes, feel the sound a few times. Let's go. I'll slam the right here, you ready? Pretty good, pretty, pretty, pretty fucking good that was. Right, I'll just leave you at the bottom of this hill. Yep. Right, thank you so much guys for watching. I was actually not expecting the brakes to work that well to be honest. Because I I cleaned these I cleaned the discs and I sanded the pads down one time and absolutely nothing worked, so they must have been infused with all the stuff, so. I mean, replacing the pads and cleaning the discs did it did well, so yeah, just do that next time instead of mucking about with sandpaper and stuff. Right, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a lovely rest of your evening, afternoon, day, morning or breakfast. Peace out and see you later.